everyone, my name is Teacher Ali and I am a tutor from Native Camp. Ang uh, review ko lang po sa Native Camp, all I can say is it is a really good company. Um, mababait po yung mga students, lalo na po kapag uh, they, they see na you're a very good teacher, you're a very kind teacher, and uh, you really teach them uh, with dedication and with love <laughs> okay so dito sa native camp uh, I will uh, sa native camp I have been here for 3 weeks pa lang mga magpo 4 weeks or ganon pero, pero so far yung experience ko with this company is better than the company I gave up before I went here to native camp so I don't want to spill the tea about that company, pero this company is a Chinese company, very sikat siya. <laughs> pero yung experience ko don was so toxic. I think some of you know na. Pero dito sa native camp sobrang natutuwa ako kasi um, nung first time ko nagkaroon ng student dito sa native camp nag enjoy ako kahit isa pa lang sa isang araw na yun mga tatlo lang estudyante ko sa isang linggo ang kailangan mo la dito yung patience dahil sa una uh, ang native camp ay uh, hindi agad nagbibigay ng estudyante dahil ang mga students ang nagde-decide ng teachers na gusto nilang kunin in here, in this video, I will be giving out tips on how to make your application in Native Camp faster. Okay? Basically, the application in Native Camp is really fast. If you know kung paano mag uh, chamba or paano mo diskartihan, uh, paunahan kay admin. <laughs> So, lalo na po sa crisis ngayon, uh, marami nag apply sa native camp. And as you can see, pag nag-queue kayo, pumasok kayo dun sa system check, marami po talagang tao as in. So, ang ginawa ko dito, mabilis lang. May tips ako, pero baka pag ginawa niyo po yung tips na nasasabihin ko, baka lalo po kayo mag-unahan. Lalo pong uh, dadami. But anyways, try niyo lang po. So, I'm going to give you 7 steps uh, seven steps for this application. Okay, step 1 is the English proficiency test. So, if you feel confident about your English skills, I think you are good to go good to go and pass this freaking test okay kasi sa test na to common sense lang siya grammatical test lang siya and the test nila kung talagang fluent ka talaga sa english so uh, if you feel like you're not confident enough with the english language you're not confident with your grammar um uh you can pick uh one of the items in each number kung ano yung maganda sa tenga yung music to the ears talaga okay so this test is only for one take so if you fail the test I'm sorry but you have to try again next time sa so, totoo lang madali lang siya madami naman nakakapasok so kayo niya yan if you pass the English proficiency test then you will proceed to step two which is the system check okay in this step marami pong nagkaka problema dito lalo na po nung kasali ako dun sa native camp group sa facebook and dami kong nakikita na nagre-reklamo dito sa step na to okay i have a simple tip for you in order to pass the system check agad without waiting too long okay ganito ang ginawa ko this is very simple I waited 10 minutes before the admin opens the system check okay nakaabang na ako dun sa system check page uh, mga for example uh, 
for example, 9 to 11 a.m. sila magbubukas. I waited mga 8.50. Naka-open na yung laptop ko, nakahanda na ilaw ko, nakahanda na yung headset ko, lahat nakahanda. Pero, uh, kinakabahan din ako kasi baka hindi ako umabot or hindi ako mapunta sa mga top 10 at top 10 cues <laughs> pero luckily I was able to uh, got uh, to go in the system check agad ikan ito I waited for 10 minutes uh, 10 minutes before the admin opens the time for the system check so ang ginagawa ko nagre-refresh refresh lang ako during that duration and then nung eksaktong 9 na siya, ni-refresh ko ulit nag-click ako agad system check open yun, ang queue ko was 3 yes, nakapasok agad ako so, chachambahan mo lang talaga siya, okay so, but before this um, you also have to check their schedule when they are closed so, makikita nyo po yung schedule nila kapag sarado sila, minsan mga 9, most of the time 9am to 11am sila, and sometimes 5 to 7pm sila. So, titingnan nyo rin po yung schedule, and then, uh, for example, uh, uh, 5 to 7pm, you have to wait 4.50 na, 4.50pm na, para just refresh, refresh na lang kayo, click agad, ganun. So, but before this demo lesson, there are some things that you need to prepare para ma-approve agad kayo kay admin. Okay? So, what to prepare? Number one, working headphones or earphones na may malinaw na mic. So, kapag yung mic na yan, yung mic ng earphones nyo ay parang may ningungaya kayo, parang may hinahanginan, or parang sa telepono kayo, I don't think it's approved. If you don't have a set of headphones, try nyo na muna po bumili before po kayo mag-apply sa native camp. Kapag wala po kayong earphones na malina, kung Apple user ka, maswerte ka. Pero, pag yung earphones nyo po ay medyo sabog yung tunog, I don't think the admin will allow that. So, as much as possible, you need to have uh, headphones na may mic. Yung may mic na ganito. Okay, so next thing, number two, so number two is a webcam. If you're using a laptop na may webcam, that's perfect. Pero if you're using a desktop, make sure your webcam is HD and your webcam is not laggy. Kapag nag-video kayo, sumusunod talaga yung picture, pero yung kapag yung uh, yung video no, yung mabagal talaga, I don't think the admin will approve that. So, as much as possible, bili kayo ng webcam na maayos. Kahit Logitech. And then, number three, lighting. Uh, you don't really have to buy an expensive light. The mga ring light, mga ganun. You can just use a small lamp or uh, a small ring light kahit yung mumarahin lang ring light basta ilaw may liliwanag sa kwarto nyo may liliwanag sa workstation nyo so para sa kunwari yung akin um, I'm currently using my brother's lamp kapag gumagawa siya ng plates um, kaya wala pag wala tong ilaw kung mapapansin nyo pag walang ilaw mabagal siya okay pero kapag may ilaw yeah, bumibilis siya. So, kailangan talaga yung ilaw. Pag madilim yung workstation nyo, hindi kayo papayagan magturo. Okay. So, kahit simpleng ilaw lang, kahit maliit na ilaw lang. Basta may ilaw kayo, yun lang. Tapos, number four, laptop or desktop. Since ang native camp, uh, nagtuturo naman sa website, uh, dito naman uh, doesn't really require any uh, like mga Windows 10 unlike 
the, uh, the other company that I was in before, talagang kailangan Windows 10, Windows 7, 8, 10 talaga. Pero kung maayos naman yung mga computers nyo, it's working well, it can, uh, tapos, may stab- uh, tapos may stable internet naman kayo, I think it's good. So, uh, Windows or Apple, any. Basta, kumagana yung native camp website sa computers nyo. Okay? Next thing is the browser. So, if you're using Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, whichever browser that you're using or you're most comfortable with, uh, as long as they're working, dapat gumagana sila. Okay? Basta, you know, gumagana. Okay, number six is stable internet. Dito, ang problema, uh, dapat naka LAN cable kayo. Mas recommend po ang LAN cable. Kasi, mahirap po pag nadi-disconnect kayo dahil uh, nawawala yung internet, naglalag, uh, may naglalaro ng kung anong games na nilalaro nila tapos naka wifi mas mahirap po ang buhay nyo kapag naka wifi kayo so it's better if you have a LAN cable if you don't have a LAN cable you can buy in Lazada and Shopee kung saan man kayo bumibili okay, basta may LAN cable kayo mas importante po yun kaysa na naka wifi kayo tapos during the lesson na di-disconnect kayo due to internet connection issues so we don't want that to happen so it's safer na may cable kayo next thing is yung background nyo tinitingnan din po ni admin to eto kasi ano lang to eh, table cloth lang to eh wala naman talaga akong plain background kasi pag tinanggal ko to makikita yung towel ko sa likod <laughs> tsaka yung pintuan ko tsaka yung makalat kong kwarto okay so as much as possible kailangan may clean background kayo kahit tablecloth yan kahit uh, towel yan na malinis basta um, plain, by, plain white background or wall lang mas safe yung wall okay doesn't have to be white pero just uh, basta plain kung mag green screen kayo sige lang go lang yellow screen, sige lang green screen, blue screen, yellow screen paulit-ulit na sis pero sige any color naman, basta plain okay, ito kasi may design-design pa eh table cloth kasi ito <laughs> okay, lastly is your smile uh, of course you have to show the admin that you want to be part of the company if you're frowning, if you're having a resting bitch face, then you have to practice smiling. Ako, may RBF talaga ako. Pero dahil sa native camp, natuto akong ngumiti. <laughs> okay, anyways. So, yun lang po for the system check. So, if, for, if you pass the system check, you will be uh, le- led to the training kits. So, in here, the training kits, hindi naman lahat ng training kits nandito, pero it's just the self-learning. It's just where you're going to prime yourself for the demo lesson. You have to be prepared for the demo lesson as well. So, in here, so self-learning, you have to study all of the videos as early as you can. So, after yung pumasa sa system check, aralin yun na po yung mga videos nila and then familiarize yourself with the class flow mas importante po yun kapag hindi nyo po nakuha yung class flow baka hindi po kayo pumasa kasi yung tinitingnan yung admin yun pero iba naman po kasi sa situation ko dahil I was able to apply during the crisis period so iba yung naranasan ko than those people who experienced the demo lesson talaga before this whole crisis happened okay so no need to be anxious because the materials are scripted hindi nakikita ni student yung script na nakikita nyo sa PC nyo so lahat ng sasabihin nyo nandun na po lahat okay so wag na po kayong kabahan hindi naman po kayo 
uh, magsustutter, di naman po kayo mag-iisip ng sasabihin nyo. Nandiyan na po lahat. Okay? So, after you studied everything in that uh, self-learning kit, uh, practice the material that you will use for the demo. So, dalawa yun. Yung isa, grammar beginner, I think. Yung why do you need NATO. And yung isa naman, um, uh, yung isa naman, grammar middle. So, kahit alin doon naman ang pipiliin nyo, practice nyo na. So, after you study these materials, proceed to the demo lesson. Again, this is like the system check. They have a schedule, either 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. or 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Okay? So, ganon din po ang gagawin nyo, just like in the system check, mag-abang na po kayo 10 minutes before. Kasi, ganon din po ang sitwasyon. Tricky din tong part na to. So, kapag handa na po kayo sa demo lesson, actually, uh, Native Camp doesn't really require... Actually, Native Camp doesn't really require you to take the demo lesson agad so it will take it will take time for you uh, to they will give you time to prepare for it so yun um, so when you're prepared whenever you're ready take the demo lesson already but remember wait 10 minutes before and then refresh click agad kapag exactong 9 o'clock or 5 o'clock, okay? Okay. So, sa demo lesson, uh, ang nangyari sa akin, may pinabasa lang si admin sa akin. May sinend siya sa chat box, tapos he told me to read it. It's an it's a somehow like a an introduction for the students. So, parang uh, it's, uh, when you read it, um, you have to have a warm and welcoming tone especially you uh, you have to welcome the student they have to hear that kind uh, tone that polite tone kasi kapag hindi po kayo kind or polite baka hindi po kayo piliin but anyways ang ginawa ni admin sa akin may pinabasa lang sa akin tapos um, in here you have to read it fluently Kasi kapag nasa stutter pa kayo, that's a problem. <laughs> you have to practice reading ng derederecho. Pero kapag, uh, I'm not sure if this happened to applicants who are in the middle of the COVID crisis. Um, the demo lesson kasi, they usually take it like for 25 minutes. Tapos, pinapagawa po talaga yung demo lesson kasi sa akin hindi na pinagawa sa akin yung demo lesson as in may pinabasa na lang sa akin sa chat box so ayun pero even though ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo yung experience ko na may pinapabasa lang sa chat box be prepared pa rin with the material kasi we don't know what is going to happen okay we don't know what the admin wants so, be prepared lang with the demo lesson. Be prepared with the material that you're using. If you are told by the admin just to read something in the chat box, then you're lucky. If not, kaya nyo yan. <laughs> kaya nyo yan. Okay? So, next step is uh, after you pass the demo lesson, then you will have your exam. Do by the way, the demo lesson has three attempts. If you fail the first time, don't worry, you still have two attempts. If you fail the second time, you still have one attempt. If you fail the third time, goodbye. Just kidding. Okay, anyways, uh, I don't want to bring you down. So, uh, I, I know you will pass. Galingan nyo lang po. Okay? So, after you pass the demo lesson, the next step is the exam. 
So, in the exam, true or false lang naman po siya. So, no need to worry. You have to, uh, in here, uh, before the exam, may materials sila na pinapaaral. So, maraming videos din. Pero, hindi naman yung mahirap intindihin. So, you just have to familiarize yourself with the class flow and the materials. Hindi naman masyadong kailangan memorizein, pero just familiarize yourself with the materials. Okay? And then after that, take the exam. True or false lang naman siya. So, madali lang siya. And then, after that, after you pass the exam, you have to fill some information about yourself. Okay? In here, you have to make yourself sound interesting. Kapag boring po yung information nyo, baka hindi po mag interesado si student na mag sudden lesson or mag-book ng lesson sa inyo. Okay? Uh, you have to put all of your hobbies, interests, all your experiences, work experiences, lahat po yan. Uh, make yourself sound interesting. Okay? And then, uh, ito yung pinaka-problema ng most applicants sa native camp which is the photo okay so a photo is very tricky as well so on photo you need a white background so you need photoshop skills here <laughs> or photo editing skills so in here's a photo if you're using a mobile phone for editing you can use pixart if you're a graphic designer or <laughs> or someone who uses Photoshop then you're lucky okay but you need photo editing applications for this so for the photo you need a white background uh, you just you can just crop yourself okay and then no shadows so basically parang one by one picture lang yan Pero, oh, ang itsura nyo dapat dito, professional look. So, naka, parang naka-coat kayo. Uh, tapos, yung naka-polo shirt. Hindi naman polo shirt, pero yung formal na polo shirt. Yung long sleeves, okay? Tapos, uh, shoulder length. Okay, I'll give you my example of my picture. And, I will place it here. So, this is an example of the photo that I submitted. So, this one is approved. Okay, gayahin yun na lang po. So if ever you need um, uh, to have someone to fix your photo, then you can ask some people who can help you with uh, editing your photo. Also, dapat uh, hindi po malabo ang inyong photo. Never give the admins a blurry photo. They might not accept it. Uh, there are lots of applicants who have been trying to submit uh, photos for a lot of times. They had so many attempts, and it took them. Means that may ibang uh, may ibang uh, applicante na they took like 11 attempts before sila ma approve. So I don't want that to happen to you guys. So yun yung mga tips ko sa inyo. Okay. So after that, if after you fill your information, you wait for the approval, and this takes two to three days. Para sa akin, two to three days. Okay, mga three days uh, approve na yung uh, approve na yung account ko. So after na na approve yung account nyo, download the app Native uh, Native Camp app for teachers, and then log in, and then you know. Yun na. You'll be able to teach in Native Camp. So, after you pass, after you get approved, welcome to Native Camp. You can start opening your classes using your mobile phone. Okay, your mobile phone, ito yung itsura ng application niya. This is how it looks like. May NC. Ayan, may NC siya. Tapos, click nyo lang yan. And then, ito yung lalabas. So, that is how it looks like. And, yan. Ito na yung mga available slots ko. Pero, walang nagbo-book. Okay lang yan. It's okay. At least, may isa nag-book sa akin. Okay? So, 
yun lang po ang tips ko for newbies and applicants here in Native Camp. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And uh, gaganahan din po kayo magturo dito dahil mababait mga estudyante dito. I swear, I swear, I cross my heart, mababait na mga estudyante dito. Okay? See you in the next video.